Liqueur Riel's Heart of the North is a celebration of Louis Riel, Métis women and culture. It's the first full-scale Indigenous-led opera and explores a chapter in Riel's life that is often not told. Often it's, it's a very political narrative and it's very masculinist. And uh, I, I thought, well, no, I wanted to look at Riel as a human being. Suzanne Steele is the Métis librettist who wrote Le Cure in partnership with Manitoba Opera. I wanted to look at how Riel not only loves the land, but in particular, I wanted to, uh, to talk about one a love affair at the center of the story, which uh, very few people know of. Louis Riel was a Métis leader and a founder of the province of Manitoba. He led two resistance movements against the Canadian government and was hanged for treason in 1885. This week, he was officially named first premier of Manitoba. Le Cure shows the impact Riel had on future generations, and it's spoken and sung in Michif and in Anishinaabe Moen, along with French and English. This is really an Indigenous approach to telling opera. We have a, a 21st century um, student who's um, kind of stressing about identity and, and she gets a visit, a mystical visit by her mamere, her grandmother, who, who is a, a trapper and shooter and, you know, just, a, just someone who uh, reminds the young girl about who she is and she tells stories of, uh, the mamere tells stories of the buffalo hunt in 1870 and about Riel and especially about the women. Steele's daughter Ella Spikine was alongside her mother through the years of research it took for this production to happen. In 2017, we took a 10,000 kilometer road trip through the heartland of Métis country um, and we spent time at St. Peter's in Montana, you know, looking at the ruins of, of the school where Riel taught. We worked in the archives together. For me though, as a Métis woman, it's really exciting to see our story being told. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Winnipeg.